And we're switching gears here right now in Louisiana and other parts of the South. Hundreds of thousands of people are still without power after Hurricane Ida. Today, many are still waiting in long lines to get food, water or fuel. And the storm also leaving behind a path of destruction that may take months to recover from. That's why WMBD and WYZZ are partnering with Great Plains Media to help the Salvation Army in providing aid for Ida. Liam Donahue is live at the High V on Veterans in Bloomington with more on how you can help. Hey, Liam. Kyrie on Annie, as you mentioned, this is all part of our plan for relief for Ida. And I'm joined by Angie Bubin, Director of Development for the Salvation Army Bloomington Corps. Angie, thank you so much for being with us today. And I know that we've seen some of the damage down south. What are some of the needs looking like? Yeah, so Salvation Army's on the ground there in Louisiana and Mississippi, providing immediate care for those in need from Hurricane Ida, providing food, shelter, water, um, pastoral care, and just addressing those immediate needs, and then continuing to assess the needs as the uh, situation progresses. And I know you guys are asking for monetary donations today. In which ways is that better than physical donations of food and supplies? That way our, our teams that are on the ground can assess what's needed and purchase what is needed. Um, oftentimes people assume it's food and water and yes, those are needs, but it's going to change as the situation changes. So by donate, donating money, it allows our teams to, to get what's needed most as it changes. Definitely. And in what ways did the Salvation Army help? So, like I said, right now we're there providing meals. I know as of yesterday, I think it was about 10,000 meals we've already provided. We have water, um, we have the pastoral care. Sometimes it's survivors and first responders need to meet and talk about what they've gone through. So really um, just assessing what's needed and addressing those needs. And again, like I said, we'll be there on the ground for a while to make sure we're there as it continues. Angie, thank you so much for being with us today. And if you want to donate, you can go to helpsalvationarmy.org and you can also you can also text give to 52000 and that text will automatically let you donate $10. For now, live in Bloomington, Liam Donahue, WMBD News.